This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Today we are going to be taking a look at, um, you know, you know, a very very good game. But um, we're going to be taking a look at Dungeons and Dragons Onslaught. Okay, uh, we know all the recent problems with uh, our, our friends over at the Wizards of the Coast, who has the license for this which might explain some of the things uh, with this. Um, you are going to really like this. We're going to go down to the table. I'm going to show you all the components. And then we're going to come back, and we're really going to talk about this on the other side of this. So uh, let's go down, down to the table, take a look at Dungeons & Dragons. So we're going to take a look at this, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to kind of go over things a little bit. This has a Mage Knight feel. Remember, WizKids uh, did all the original stuff. They used to be, uh, you know, for the people. They'd make games more affordable, uh, miniature games that were more affordable back in the day. You remember Mage Knight and all the Hero Click stuff? Well, um, this does feel a little bit like the Mage Knight, and but it's it, it, it's set in, in a, a magnificent universe, which is Dungeons and Dragons, and um, but what you get for $140 is maybe one of the most shocking things I've ever seen in my life. You're going to get 21 miniatures. Now, granted, you get this, this black dragon, and, and they've done this before. So, you, you know, it's out there, okay? And uh, you're going to get 21 miniatures. They're pre-painted. Uh, it's, it's not Games Workshop type of miniatures. Um, they're not even... Uh, the, the, I mean, they're they're good and they're painted, and uh, you know a lot of these you you were able to get in some of those booster packs. So all they did was just take stuff from booster packs and 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 basically put them in there. Um, you're gonna get four four dice here. Like I said, you're gonna get the 21 uh, things. You're gonna get some initiative cards because the way this is gonna go off initiative, you're gonna get cards with uh, some some of the. Um, uh, different types of creatures and, and I'll explain a little bit what's going on here um, you're going to get your cards here that are going to show you where what all the symbols mean on these on these uh, and, and believe me these are not uh, very well put together and uh, 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 pretty cheap but um, the component the components are not $140 worth but you're going to have all these different, you're going to be able to level up your characters and stuff like that. And you have these nice little dials here, which are kind of, you know, you know, if you really think about it, kind of a mage knight thing. Okay, your round's going to keep tra tracker of victory points and all that stuff because what you're trying to do is get victory points. You're going to have some cards that are going to uh, help you with spells and things like that. And again, you have, you know, uh, some of these for each and every uh, creature and, and player in the game so you get that and then you're gonna have your cardboard cutouts along with some more miniatures like I said and that's what you're getting for uh, uh, and a double-sided board they couldn't even give you a cloth pad here this is made out of paper so I'm gonna put this aside because th 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 there's nothing in here for $140 folks now, is this game good? It's really good. Okay, uh, what you're going to be doing is you are going to you're going to have uh, two teams of six, and then you're going to have these monsters roaming freely through here. Um, the funny thing about it here here are the walls. If you have walls, they couldn't even <laughs> give you some for 140 bucks. You couldn't even get something that you know give you something. Well, that's a wall there. Okay, and that'll take care of that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just completely blown away and, and just trying to figure out where the money goes. Uh, uh, it Maybe licensing feels. You're going to have a scenario guide that is going to give you seven scenarios. Uh, seven. Whole seven scenarios. How you're going to play out. Um, this one here is the seventh one, the showdown with the black, you know, young black dragon. Um, and um, 
you've got a uh, yes cardboard cardboard chest so you don't even get chest in there so I'm trying to figure out where you know where, where this this tallies up to um, $140 retail um, what you're going to be doing is you are going to be fighting you're going to have a, a, an initiative phase uh, that you're going to uh, go through and you are going to uh, decide on initiative that's what your cards are you're going to deal out a certain amount of these cards then you're going to sign initiative uh, then you're going to activate your characters uh, your characters are going to get one standard action one move action a bonus action and any free actions that you could possibly take that are uh, tied in with the ability on your cards and that's where that card comes in is you're going to have to decipher all these different things that you can do these different abilities and so forth and so on the scenarios are going to give you different objectives and things you know maybe you're looking for something or maybe uh, you're trying again uh, you're going around trying to gain as much experience because you can level up it's really kind of cool here um, and, and and this is where this game is it, it, it's a good game it's a really really good game and as you uh, get experience your stats are going to change which is really cool so um you are going to uh, you're going to gain a certain amount of experience and has a little experience tracker here and once you hit this point you will go up and adjust from here now um, um your your experience as you keep going and you will get stronger and stronger and stronger and as you take hits other things will happen until you uh basically die but um uh again you are competing against uh, another um a band of um, adventurers band and these monsters are going to be roaming around causing bedlam uh, possibly attacking you and so forth and so on and again the you know for me this is a great and fun game it's very very fun and uh, the rules are very simple very very good book uh, th there's a another side on here to be fair, okay, and I'll just kind of show you that you have a, a, a second side on this board uh, that you can utilize. Uh, this is a two-player game again, and again, here's all the everything that you get for $140, which I just keep on talking about. You get your two different parties, and then here are all the different creatures that you're going to run into. Um, uh, again, breaking down, like I said. Uh, the different dials and stuff like that that are, are that are going to get you going your battle wheel like I was talking about uh, which has your speed your armor class and your hit points um, and and uh, of course your experience tracker here um, all the different types of abilities that you can use with that particular person okay uh, winning the game if all players and characters are defeated well guess what they lose that player is immediately eliminated from the game and their opponent is the winner. If neither player is eliminated after eight rounds, the player with the most victory points wins. Simple as that. So uh, again, you're gonna have different types of conditions. You're gonna be able to cast spells. Uh, movement is just fairly simple. It does a lot of great things and it, it is, is a lot of fun. And this is the biggest model in the game, uh, the black dra young black dragon. And uh, like I said, the game is fun, but boy, I just don't see the price. I don't see where, where, where this is a hundred and forty dollar game, and uh, I'm quite shocked about that. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Let's go up top. Uh, we did our unboxing and showed you uh, a little bit about this. Um, but you know, it, this is something that if you are a hardcore Dungeons and Dragons fan. You are going to love this. Even if you're a casual board gamer, you're going to love this. It's just, can you justify the price for this? And that's where um, the, the only negative thing I really have to say about it. And that, that primarily is up to you. So let's go up top and get my final thoughts on this, where I'm probably going to talk a lot about the price of this. So, um, and, and you can't blame WizKids, like I'll tell you up top, I'm sure of that. All right, let's head up top and get my final thoughts. Um, this is a very, very good game. And what it reminds me of 
is uh, I used to, I, I still had it. And a matter of fact, I saw it up at my storage unit uh, the other day. It's Mage Knight Dungeons. If anybody remembers that, um, it, that was a lot of fun because you were going through the, the dungeon and you were opening up treasure chests and you were fighting uh, another party and all these monsters were roaming around causing you a bedlam. A uh, lot of fun, okay? Um, this is the same thing. A lot of fun. But from what you just saw, okay, there is a great problem here. And uh, I don't it's not with the game. I don't believe it's with the designers. I don't believe it's with um, WizKids necessarily. There is no way in hell this is a hundred and forty dollar game. A hundred and four, and that's not including tax, because when you add tax in, you're talking a hundred and fifty dollars. You get a paper. You, you you don't even get a paper. I mean, you get a paper uh, a bag here. That's $140. Don't, and, and I don't want to hear, well, you know, the miniatures are painted. Uh, no, folks. They, they took, these, these sculpts were already done for other box sets. They just pulled from them and, and used the same old sculpts, okay? So they didn't have to create anything unique here, okay? And they've hand-painted stuff in the past, as we know, and... Um, I, I just, I don't see where there's $150 worth of game here. You know, when I got this box in, I went, I went, oh my, you know, this is how thick it is. Okay, for those of you that don't have it. And I went, uh-oh, wow, I can spin this thing on my finger like Metal Arc Lemon. There's no way to this. This isn't like a zombicide or, or stuff like that. I'm not getting I'm not getting 90 miniatures in here. Okay? And a ton of cardboard. I've got a board, 21 miniatures, some cheap little dial things, and that's $140. Hey, I spend my money just like you guys. And if you're willing to spend it for you know, for this, that's fine. But I, I just don't feel that you're getting, a, for $140, great value, component-wise. Um, or, or, or uh, you know, maybe there should be 20 scenarios in here. Maybe there should be 46 different miniatures. You know, maybe that would justify it a little bit more. But 21 miniatures... Um, Ten, I think it's seven or eight uh, scenarios, if I'm not correct. Two-sided board, and uh, you, you know maybe if it came with a ton of tiles. But is 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 this really? And and, and I want to be fair here before everybody starts losing their thing because I'm talking about something Dungeons and Dragons. It's imagine how it, 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 it's it's amazing how how one week you want to kill a, a certain company over an OGL, but now. Uh, well, no, um, don't 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 talk about a game, you know. Go go look at all the pictures of the people gawking at at, at this game in excitement, and not one person has mentioned that this is close to a hundred and fifty dollars. A hundred and fifty dollars for this, and again, I don't believe it's WizKids. I think this is a scary, scary thing that that you have right here. And this is where this becomes very terrifying. And it's a shame that we have to talk about a game by, by a couple of guys, Nicholas Yu and Travis Severance, who designed a fantastic game. They designed a fantastic game. But the price point is, is ridiculous. If you told me 80, 85 to you know $95, I'd pay it without a problem. Wouldn't even think twice of it. I go, okay, you know, you're paying for a license, this, that, and the other. But is this indicative of what is going, what, what's about to come? And this is what nobody's talking about. 
Is this indicative of what is about to come down the pike because of COVID, because of shipping issues, because of, of, of the greed of, of Wizards of the Coast? I don't know if that had anything to do with, with uh, the price point for this. You know, has the licensing fees uh, gone through the roof as well? Um, $150 with tax, depending on your state, okay? That's including tax. When you could shell out for a lot of different things. Now, you know, there's a, there's a lot of different arguments you can make. I just don't see it. I don't see it. And it's a shame that the price point and what you get and what you have in your hands and what you what you brought home okay and 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 i'll tell you this this the, 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 there's nothing really in here folks there's nothing in here for a hundred and fifty dollars call me crazy but nobody's screaming about that because they don't want to get cut off from whiz kids from them sending them the promo packs and all the other stuff that they get this channel doesn't worry about that. I and I'm not trying to stir trouble here, but you got to call it what it is. This may be a sign that game that you would normally that 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 um, work replacement game that you ne normally would have played thirty nine ninety nine for. And let, let's let's take Whiz Kids completely out of this. Is that going to be eighty dollars now? Is that going to be ninety dollars now? because of all the problems that we've seen in the last couple of years? Is this a roller of this? Is this a sign of things to come? And, you know, and this is, you know, one of the first big games of the new year. All right, 2023, boom, dropping out of the sky. Dungeons and Dragons, Onslaught. $140, $140. Go try to find it someplace, anywhere. It's 140 stiff. And um, wow. Uh, game's fun. Fun beyond belief. But uh, I think this price tag is something to be concerned about and a sign of things to come. And uh, uh, that's my thought on it. If you like this game, Go out and uh, go out and get it. Check out the videos. I'm even gonna. I'm gonna definitely do a pl uh, a playthrough for hundred and forty dollars. I better get my uh, my full use out of it for the money that I've spent on this. Uh, but definitely, definitely, you know, something that if you know, it, it's a very very good game, but the price point just might be a bit too much. And boy, I, I, that's something you don't hear anybody talking about, which is kind of weird in a way. But uh, do I approve the game? I think the game's great. I give it very high marks. And I think it's something that, that you know, if you are a fan of the old Mage Knight Dungeons, if you are a fan of Dungeons and & Dragons and, and are looking for something a little bit different, the old Command uh a game, uh, you know, has a little bit of a feel about it. These guys did a wonderful job designing this, but um, my the problem with me is the price point, folks. And uh, I, I just, I, I'm, I'm in amazement. And I think it bothers me because I got this in yesterday uh, and um, I took it out, played it, and, uh, you know, I'm still stunned over what I got. I just couldn't, I, I, you know, for, for that type of money. I expected it to be like one of the big box games that we that we are used to, and uh, this thing comes in a very thin box with not a lot of stuff in it for a hundred and forty dollars. Okay, well that's my thought. Great game, way overpriced. Um, you know, I, I I can only tell you what I think. You make your own judgment. I look forward to seeing what you think in the comments. Uh, is this a sign of things to come? Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon.